<laughs> it's alive! <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> Good morning! I am super excited because today I'm taking my friend Derek Blasberg out and about in Amsterdam. For those who don't know Derek, he's been working in fashion for over two decades. He's now the head of beauty and fashion of YouTube. I'm gonna take you guys with us. So, are you ready? Do you know those people? No. <laughs> I thought you just knew everyone in Amsterdam. It's a small city, hi, I thought you'd hi, hi. I thought you'd all know each other. Hi. Hi. Modeling is easier than driving a boat. Yeah. Will you do your hair whip again for me please? Can there. You slow motion? Oh yes. That's a good idea. Alright Dawson, we're not being very good YouTubers. Really? This is what they want to see. No. What do they want to see? You gotta I, be like you have to Hi guys. Hi guys, we're here in Amsterdam. We're on a boat. This is the first thing we're doing, breakfast in a boat, uh, best way to see Amsterdam. Then we're going to Volendam. Volendam. Yeah. This is a, a fishing village. Then we're going to wear traditional clothing and we're going to eat herring. Have you had herring before? I'm part of herring. <laughs> what? It wasn't that funny. The Dutch ain't funny. <laughs> if it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> Did you get that? So give me some more history lessons about this part of Holland. And then they built the Afslide Dijk and then it became a lake. Afslide Dijk was kind of... <laughs> Sorry. We're going to a fishing, 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 fishing village. Fishing village, got it. Are we going to fish? No, we're going to eat the fish. Because the only thing more boring than you explaining the creation of the Scandinavian Peninsula. This is not Scandinavia, Derek. <laughs> Close enough. Oh, is that my first windmill? <laughs> oh my god. That fits much more exciting than your explanation of yeah, the formation. Yeah, so have of, a look. Uh, and that's how you have to learn your YouTube language. So th say things more excited. Like that. I'm gonna make... <laughs> like that. I'm gonna make my... Like that. I'm We're going fish. to a fishing village! <laughs> Try that. We're going to a fishing village! Come well, with us! And what else are you gonna do? We're gonna put on some dope costumes! <laughs> Try that. Made for this. What kind of costumes? <laughs> Traditional costumes! <laughs> so, here we are in Forendam. Oh my okay, god. So, this is it. Holy cow. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Hi. we're going to take a picture like that. Yes. It's going to be so great. Have you worn Klompen before? Klompen. Yeah. No. Uh, oh my god. Did she like some milk? This is how I was discovered. Do you know that? This is, no, this is how you're going to be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Do you always laugh at your own jokes? <laughs> when they're that good. Are we the best models that have ever been in this yeah, series? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I am. I'm sort of... Yeah, he's dealing with me. I'm carrying her it's through like, this. Now show me how you twerk. So right now I'm going to introduce you to a local delicacy. It's called a herring. It's caught right in here from the from the lake, and you eat it like this, with the with onion and pickle. Is Are now you ready a bad for that? time to tell you that I don't like fish? This is how you eat it. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I like this so much. I'm really shocked. I'm super scandalized. Oh my god. It's alive! It's alive! I am sick of this. I'm out of here. What's this? That's a frikandel. You eat it like What's this. What's a frikandel? You like it? Yeah, I guess. What's a frikandel? It's kind of like everything. It's like a mix of every all the meats. It's not quality meat, is it's, what you're telling me. Yeah. All it's right. kind of the waste meat. Oh my god, the mayonnaise is so good. Mm. Everything tastes good with mayonnaise. Is this a traditional 
touch a palm. Does it feel good on your lips? How do you say it feels good on my lips? Het voelt goed. 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 Op het mijn goed, lippen. Goed. Niet lippen. Op mijn lippen. Op mijn lippen. Ja. Yeah. You speak very sensual hours. Dutch. I didn't know that was possible. So far, you've taken me to a fish shop. And we went on a boat. And now a pancake house. We've done a delicacy trip. Are pancakes traditionally Dutch? Yes, they are. I did not like the fish. Never seen somebody eat a fish like that. <laughs> I mean, it was illegal. <laughs> I don't think we can put that on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Do you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner at once? No. Is that, is that the fitness That's a tip? <laughs> and I'm then trying try and really kill hard. me with carbohydrates. That's right. Oh, please watch my channel because. <laughs> to watch me die. <laughs> I have a heart attack from yeah. having carbs. Look what you tried to make me eat. <laughs> you were growing up a little Dutch farm girl. Do you know about the red light district? Or No, we know about it. I bike past it with the kids. So do you think having a local red light district makes sex seem less provocative? I think it's not just that. It's also how we talk about it. We're open about it. But is the red light district a tourism driver for yeah, Amsterdam? for sure. This is where people come for bachelor parties or bachelorette yeah. parties. Yeah, and of course guys, guys, guys really come for sex. So for a prude American like myself, this is kind of fascinating. This is the oldest church in Amsterdam. And then next to that is the red light district. I know. This is the um, old church, Oude Kerk van Amsterdam. This is the oldest area of Amsterdam. Amsterdam began in 1300. And actually the brothels were right here and they tried to make it illegal. But now since 1811, it's legal again. Um, actually the women behind the windows are have their own businesses. They're all their own companies and beautiful buildings. So I think people come for different reasons. I mean, most, I most of them come for <laughs> the ladies, I guess. But And you know, the, the entertainment that's there. I find it sort of surreal to know that there are... What do you have? A, a complex... I think, a, I think sex in America is especially taboo. Yeah, but for you too? I think so, I'm an American. And I was raised just seeing that as a young child. So as and a kid, you can walk up and down too. the street. I have a friend that her son asked her, who are they? And, and then she said, those are the girls for a man who want to feel loved. And they just, the man can pay money and then can feel loved. Well, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, because this is how I think we explain it to our children. I think it's interesting that all the women here in the red light district, they pay taxes. They're like self-employed. Yeah. Industries. This is what they say. I, I, I am not 100% sure if that is true. What and do you mean? Human trafficking is such a big business that must also happen here. Where are we going now? We're going to the Rijks Museum. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. How does it feel to have the Gallery of Honor all to yourself, Derek? This is what it's like when you come to Amsterdam with me. If you look very, very closely, that's Doutson's great, 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 great grandma. You didn't know that. It's a fact. <laughs> I mean, it's so decadent to have the whole museum to ourselves. Yeah. I can do this. Derek, <laughs> it's a portrait of you in this museum. That's the real me. I'm gonna take you to a festival called Milkshake, where I have never been, but because it's gay pride in Amsterdam. So this is an LGBT party, LGBTQ party. Yeah, LGBTQ plus. Anybody who drinks milk. It's a very, it's very Dutch dairy. festival. A dairy party. Come here, be gay, dairy. drink milk. All right, Doubtson, it's our last stop. I'm gonna really warn you out right here. I gotta tell you, I am exhausted. Better than yours, damn right. It's, it's better, better than, than yours. I can teach you. Show me how to do this. But I have to. I can do it better than you. You think? Yeah. I make my own stuff. This is what cool people do before they go to a festival. <laughs> oh my god, look at her. Amazing. These outfits are so good. I feel extremely underdressed. 
Me too. And I blame you for not telling me about what to wear today. I had no idea, look. I have a jock strap, I have high heeled boots, I have sparkly tops. I and have look a what I have on now. I could have worn I my I could have worn your thong. I can take my pants off. You should take your pants off. Are you How can you dance? There's no safety belt. This is a bad time to say I'm really scared of heights. I'm gonna tell you the best part of the day. This is the best part of the day. I'm so Look afraid of that. heights. Ah! All those happy people. So the best part of the day was about 10 minutes ago, a woman came up to the two of us and she goes, oh my God, you must get this all the time. You're gorgeous. <laughs> and you're Derek? <laughs> It's so true! <laughs> this is what happens! So thank you for the most amazing oh, day I think I could ever have in Amsterdam. And now we are surrounded by people that are happy, that are completely themselves. So this is just and like a typical day in the life of Downson, yes? Yes, it is kind of. Because I would go to festivals like this with Sonnery. This is also part of my life. Not in this outfit though. But what a way to go! What a way to go, Downson! Bye bye, Amsterdam. Till next time. So I had an amazing day with Derek in Amsterdam. If you liked the episode, though, please subscribe, and I'll see you next week because next week is going to be a complete different episode about a complete different part of my life. And if you liked it, please subscribe. Don't forget. See you next week. This is my last picture, <laughs> better make it a good one.